hope y'all are ready for some trivia. Hello and welcome to What a Ghoul Wants. My name is Anna, I am your ghoul, and what I want is to take a horror movie quiz. Now, this quiz is just something that I found online. I just googled horror movie quiz and saw what came up. It's not from any horror site. It's not from Fangoria or Bloody Disgusting or anything like that. It is actually from thequiz.com. Never heard of it, but um, it's a 50 question quiz specifically about horror movies. I believe that it was posted in April of last year. So I was like, well, let's just see how I do. <laughs> so uh, it's titled 50 questions that only a true horror movie fan will know how to answer. Now, I do have a little bit of a problem with the title. So I really don't believe in gatekeeping in the horror community. I think it's really silly to say who's a real fan and who's not just by the random facts that you know or how many movies you've seen. So I don't particularly like the title because the only thing that it takes to be a horror fan is to like horror movies. So this is by no means a measure of whether or not you're an actual horror fan or not. It's literally just, do you know these trivia questions? So. That being said, if you follow along with this, do not be hard on yourself if you don't get many right. I might not get many right. I have not looked at this quiz beforehand, so I'm just gonna read through it and um, see how many I get right. And I'll leave a link for it in the description if you would like to follow along while I do it. And please feel free to pause if you need a second to think about an answer. And I would love to hear you comment below and let me know how many you got right. So I'll be tallying it up at the end and seeing how many I got right. So these are all multiple choice, um, and I know there are some that are probably gonna be like pretty obvious, and I probably won't necessarily need to read the multiple choice answers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for every question. And despite my shirt today, it's a Friday the 13th shirt, and it's probably the franchise I've seen the least movies in, so it's gonna be really funny. I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions that pertain to Friday the 13th wrong, even though I'm wearing this shirt, but hey, I, I just really like this shirt a lot, and I will see the rest of the franchise eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it. So with that in mind, we're gonna start with the first question, which is funny enough, a Friday the 13th question. So the first question is, who was the villain in the original Friday the 13th? Now, I know this one before reading any of the multiple choice answers, but I'll just go ahead and read them. Jason Voorhees, Elias Voorhees, Pamela Voorhees, or Diana Kimball? And I'm going with Pamela Voorhees. And that's the correct answer. So starting off good, all right. <laughs> question number two is, A Nightmare on Elm Street takes place where? Springwood, Ohio, Springwood, California, Cunningham County, New Jersey. Now, I am an Ohio girl. I was born and raised there, so I know this answer is Springwood, Ohio. And that's correct. Next is, who did Captain Elliot Spencer become? I don't know this one. I don't know who Elliot Spencer is. Um, so we've got the Lawnmower Man, Jigsaw, Tall Man, or Pinhead. I know for a fact it's not Jigsaw or the Tall Man. <sighs> I'm gonna say Pinhead? And that was right, cool. <laughs> so that was my first actual real guess without knowing the answer, so I got lucky there. Oh, the next question is, do you want to play a game? And there's a little picture of Jigsaw. Um, I'm gonna say no, which is the correct answer. Okay, that one was a little weird. Question five is, how many Michael Myers Halloween movies are there? Okay, so if this was made in April, I don't know if they're counting Halloween Kills. I know that he's not in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, so there's one, two, four, five. Is the next one H2O? That's five. I feel like there's at least two more. Seven, ooh. But the answers are eight, nine, 10, or four. It's obviously not four. I think I'm gonna go with eight. Oh, I was wrong, it's nine. Well, that's my first wrong answer. So the description under that uh, question says, God knows this franchise has seen so many shifts in continuity that Halloween exists in more universes than carbon. <laughs> Later this year, the franchise will see a relaunch with Jamie Lee Curtis reprising her role as Laurie Strode. So I guess that this was actually in 2018, this quiz. I didn't see that on here, um, but if they're referring to the first Halloween movie, then they're not counting Halloween kills. So that was a little confusing, but anyway. <laughs> On to question six. Should characters get together in a horror film? And there's a picture of Tatum and Stu from Scream on here. So if we're going by Randy's rules. Number one, 
you can never have sex. No, no, no. Then we would say no, because that is one good way to get killed in a horror film. So between yes and no, I'm gonna go no. And that was the right answer. Ooh. Question number seven is, why are you doing this? With a picture of the strangers. And the options are, the question was not answered in the movie. Because you were home. Because we have to. Because it's fun. Now, I know I've seen The Strangers, and the reason is because you were home. Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. And that is correct. Doing pretty good here. Only had one wrong answer so far. Ooh, question eight is, what is the name of the camp from Sleepaway Camp? Camp Licolata, <laughs> Camp F Flabinaba, Camp Arawak, Jerry Burry. Okay, um, I feel like these are pretty obviously made up the wrong ones, so I'm going with Camp Arawak, and I know that that is the correct answer. <laughs> Question nine, how many versions of The Thing are there? I guess they're talking about movies. How many, how many iterations of The Thing are there? Uh, so I know there's The Thing from Another World, The Thing, uh, 82, and The Thing, uh, 2011? I'm going to say three. The options are one, two, three, or four. Three is the correct answer. All right. Question 10 is, what is this object? Uh, options are the Lament configuration, the Merchand configuration, a means to summon the Cenobites, or all of the above. Ooh. Now, I've heard it called the Lament configuration. Um, but it's also means to summon the Cenobites. I am not familiar with the Lemurchand configuration, but <sighs> the fact that two of these answers fit makes me want to say all of the above. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say the Lament configuration. Okay. It was all of the above. All right. That one was a little bit tricky, but I've never heard the Lemurchand configuration. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but okay. Well, I, I made a mistake there. So let's go on to question 11. What inspired the fictional relationship between Will Graham and Hannibal Lecter? Uh, okay. I've never seen the Hannibal series. I've seen Silence of the Lambs, so let's see. Uh, the options are John Douglas's interviews with David Berkowitz, Robert Keppel's interviews with Ted Bundy, Ken Landwehr's interviews with Dennis Rader, or Patrick Kennedy's interviews with Jeffrey Dahmer. Man, well, if he's a cannibal, I don't know. I don't even know. I've, I've seen some images where it looks like Will and Hannibal are in a, in a relationship, so I, I don't know if Hannibal's gay or what, but um, of these people, I do know that Jeffrey Dahmer is the only um, gay person, so I'm going to say Patrick Kennedy's interviews with Jeffrey Dahmer. We'll see. No, then that was wrong. <laughs> uh, apparently, it was Robert Keppel's interviews with Ted Bundy, so interesting. I don't know if they talk about that in just the makings of Hannibal or if that's made um, aware in the series, but um, interesting. Good to know. Hopefully, I'll watch Hannibal eventually. We'll see. <laughs> Question 12 is, finish this quote. Agnes, it's me. And the options are Billy, Willie, Timmy, or Jimmy. <laughs> and the picture is from Black Christmas, the original. So I am going with Billy. And that's correct. And if you've seen the original Black Christmas, you'll know, this is a spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it, uh, that Billy is the killer in that movie. So I knew that that was the answer. Question 13 is, what is Randy Meek's favorite scary movie? Options are Happy Birthday to Me, Showgirls, April Fool's Day, and Hardcore. I'm pretty sure he says Showgirls in this scene, so yep, it was Showgirls. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? Showgirls. Absolutely frightening. Classic Randy being a smartass. <laughs> Question 14 is, which statement about Freddy Krueger is false? The options are, uh, he's a bastard son of a hundred maniacs, he was wrongfully executed by a mob of townspeople, Alice Cooper played his father, there was a prequel made called Freddy's Nightmares. So I know that Alice Cooper did play his father in, I don't remember which movie that was. He was wrongfully executed by a mob of townspeople. You... I... I can't remember if he was actually convicted or, I mean, he wasn't convicted in the movie, which is why they hunted him down and killed him. Um, so I guess that happens to be true. There was a prequel made called Freddy's Nightmares that was a TV show. Um, so I'm going to say he's a bastard son of a hundred maniacs. And that was wrong. <laughs> I, I remembered that from one of the movies, but I thought that maybe that was wrong, but 
Um, so the correct answer is he was wrongfully executed by a mob of townspeople. That means you're saying he was rightfully executed by a mob, which puts some morality in there. I think I'm just overthinking it, but... I'm a textbook overthinker. That's one that maybe I should have gotten right. But hey, you know what? We all make mistakes. <laughs> Question 15 is, what infamous episode of The X-Files was banned from television? Now, I've only seen um, maybe the first two seasons of The X-Files, and it's been a really long time since I watched it, so I've not seen the whole show all the way through. But the options for this are The Host, Oof, Oof? I'm not sure how to say that. Home or The Encounter. And this is actually a fact that I just happen to know, and I know that the answer is home. And that's correct. All right. Question 16 is, what movie does this describe? And then it goes on to say, a supernatural entity has connected itself to a select piece of media. Once a hapless individual is exposed to this media, said entity targets and kills them. The spirit is a vengeful one, though it doesn't mind attacking others outside of its planned targets. Eventually, deep secrets are revealed. The entity isn't quite defeated, but is somewhat sa sated, leaving things open for a sequel. And a vague comment on modern technology is made so the audience can feel smart. Whew, that was a mouthful. Um, so the options for this are One Missed Call, Fear.com, The Ring, or all of the above. Now, it seems to me that that description could really apply to any of these. So I'm going to go with all of the above. And that's right. Question 17 is, what is the first creature Jay sees in It Follows? Old woman, naked woman, young boy, tall man. Um, okay. So I'm trying to remember... Because right after it gets transferred to her, when she's tied to the wheelchair and the guy's explaining it, they first see a naked woman. So I'm going to go with a naked woman. And that's right. Question 18 is, which movie does this quote, they're coming Barbara, come from? The options are Jaws, The Exorcist, The Shining, or Night of the Living Dead. This is a pretty famous quote, I would say, from Night of the Living Dead. And that is right. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Question 19, which horror icon has the highest body count? The options are Chucky, Lubin, Michael Myers, or Jason Voorhees. I have no idea who Lubin is. Does anybody know who that is? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I am going to guess Jason, because it seems like there's a higher body count on average in the Friday the 13th movies. Just kind of going off speculation again because I haven't seen them all. So I'm going to say Jason Voorhees. And that's right. It was a good guess. Question 20. What is the name of Leatherface's family? Sawyer, Hooper, Henkel, or Klein? Now, I am a pretty big fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I haven't seen the whole franchise, but I do love the first and second movies. And I know that their names are the Sawyer family. And that is correct. I actually don't know if they ever say it in the first movie. Uh, I can't remember. I think maybe maybe the dad's name is Sawyer. Um, but yeah, so that's one you probably have to have seen more than just the first one to really know. Question 21, what was the controversial scene in Don't Look Now? Options are the child drowning, the sex scene, the murder twist. All of those things do happen in that movie, and I'm assuming that the most controversial one would be the showing a child drowning. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one. And I was wrong. Um, it was apparently the sex scene. Yeah, I, I know it was really long, and maybe just for the time, um, having a scene like that for so long in a movie was controversial, I guess. Um, so yeah. All right, learn something new. Question 22, which of these horror movies has never seen a remake? Cannibal Holocaust, The Entity, I Spit on Your Grave, none of the above. So I know for a fact that I Spit on Your Grave has had a remake. Uh, so I know that that and none of the above are not the right answer. So it's between Cannibal Holocaust and The Entity. I don't think Cannibal Holocaust has ever gotten a remake. I don't, I don't think it has, but I, I really don't know anything about the Entity either, so I'm just gonna go with Cannibal Holocaust. And I was wrong, it was actually the Entity, okay. I'll have to look into the Cannibal Holocaust remake, I guess. <laughs> Question 23 is, finish the quote, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy, makes Jack a dull boy, makes Judy a dull girl, makes Danny a dull boy. Now, this is another one that's pretty famous and pretty well-known, and I'm going to go with Makes Jack a Dull Boy, and that's correct. Although I do like that they threw in Danny, because Danny is a little boy in The Shining, so that was a fun little nod. 
Question 24 is, what perfume does Clarice Starling use? Now, I do remember that Hannibal comments on her perfume, but I don't remember which one it is. So the options are J'adore, L'Air du Tem, Black Orchid, or Amarige? Amarige? Very strange, weird, cringeworthy attempt at a French accent. I'm probably saying that wrong. I really, really don't know. I don't think it's Black Orchid or Amarige. And I'm pretty sure it's not J'adore, so I'm gonna go with L'Air du Thames. And that was right, wow. <laughs> that was a pretty wild guess, but um, maybe somewhere in the recesses of my mind, I remembered it from reading those options, so. <laughs> okay, so we're halfway through, and this is question 25. What is Pinhead's real name? Hell Priest, John Hopkins, John Bradley, Ghost Rider. John Hopkins, like, the university? <laughs> um, so I know Doug Bradley plays him. I don't think it's John Bradley. I don't think it's Ghost Rider. I, I'm gonna go with Hell Priest. I really don't know if he has a real name or not, but... Oh, that was actually right. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think he has a real person's name. I think it's just, like, a Cenobite name. So, all right, cool. Got that one right. <laughs> Question 26. How many people died in the Babadook? Zero, one, two, or four. Four. I don't even know if I finished the Babadook. I saw it forever ago and I don't remember, but I feel like nobody did. So I'm gonna go with zero. Oh, and that's right. Okay. Well, yeah, I definitely need to rewatch the Babadook for sure. It's been a really long time and I, I honestly can't remember if I finished it or not. So definitely do for a rewatch of that. Question 27. Which of these is not a George A. Romero film? Dawn of the Dead, Return of the Living Dead, The Crazies, Bruiser. I've never heard of Bruiser. I know The Crazies is a Romero film, and I know that Dawn of the Dead is a Romero film, and I know that Return of the Living Dead is a Dan O'Bannon film. I think that's the director. Um, so I'm going with Return of the Living Dead, and that's right. I've never heard of Bruiser. I will definitely have to check that out for sure. Question 28, what's the secret of Michael Myers' mask? The original was accidentally auctioned off for $86. It's actually a Lee Majors mask painted white. It's actually a William Shatner mask painted white. It's real hair. So the only fact I know about this is that it was a William Shatner mask. Um, so I'm gonna go with that. And that's the correct answer. Yeah, for those who don't know, it was a William Shatner mask. <laughs> Question 28. What's the most difficult thing to do in a horror movie? Now, this is pretty, this is not a real question. It's pretty subjective. Um, so the answers are survive, call the police, apply common sense, run without tripping. This isn't really a fair question, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna say call the police. Okay, run without tripping. All right, whatever. That was a dumb question, in my opinion. <laughs> Bitter person uses language characterized by hostility and suspicion. Question 30, how many sequels to Cabin Fever are there? One, two, three, or 10? <laughs> 10 sequels to Cabin Fever, oh my God, can you imagine? Um, okay, so I know that there was the original and there was the remake of the original and I'm pretty sure there's only one sequel if they're not counting the remake. So I'm gonna go with one and that is right. I think it's called like Spring Break or Summer Break or something like that. On to question 31. How did the blind man lose his sight? And it's a picture of the guy from Don't Breathe. And I've never seen the Don't Breathe movies, so I'm just gonna have to completely guess on this one. The options are in war, he was born blind, or during the break-in, which I guess happens in the film. Um, I'm assuming it's not during the break-in. Uh, I'm gonna say in war. Oh, and that was right, okay. Cool, good to know. Uh, definitely another movie that I still need to watch. Question 32. Finish the quote, long live blank. And it's got a picture from Videodrome, so I know the answer to this. Um, but the options are the new king, the new flesh, the new chief, or the savage new times. And the answer is the new flesh. And that's right. Long live the new flesh. That's a movie I definitely have to rewatch. I haven't seen that in a while, but um, so good. Question 33 is, which of these movies does not feature a killer clown? It, Terrified, Mockingbird, or Poltergeist? Um, obviously, It and Poltergeist definitely have a killer clown. Now, it says Terrified, not Terrifier. And I have never seen Terrified, and I don't know what Mockingbird is, so it's between those two. Um, I'm gonna go with Terrified. And it's wrong. I wonder if they meant Terrifier or not. I'll have to look up and see. I'm pretty sure there is a movie called Terrified, but apparently Mockingbird is the right answer. Question 34. Uh, Don't Breathe was inspired by what horror classic? 
Eyes without a face repulsion. Wait until dark. This is another one I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's eyes without a face. I don't think it's repulsion. I'm just gonna say wait until dark. Oh, and that's right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know what wait until dark is about either. So wild guess again. Question 35, a quiet place was original meant. There's there's quite a lot of typos in this. Uh, but anyway, a quiet place was originally meant as a sequel to what film? It comes at night, Cloverfield, under the skin species. Uh, it has a lot of similar elements to It Comes at Night. I'm assuming it's not Cloverfield or The Skin. And I know Species is Aliens, I'm pretty sure. But It Comes at Night was an A24 film. Was Quiet Place A24? Or was it Blumhouse? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say It Comes at Night. And I was wrong. <laughs> the answer is Cloverfield. Okay. Um, that's one I haven't seen. I definitely need to watch Cloverfield for sure. Question 36. What is the estate Maxim de Winter lives in? Now, this is the reference to Rebecca, and I have never seen the movie, but I have read the book. Um, so the options are Cornwall, Vandalay, Manderlay, Mandalay. So this would be pretty hard if you only casually know about it because these uh, sound very similar, but I know that the answer is Manderlay. And I do need to watch the movie for sure, and I really wanna watch the, I believe it's Ben Wheatley did the remake, I wanna say in 2020, and I'm very interested in watching that as well. So definitely got those on my watch list. Question 37, what is the first true ghost story in film? And it only has two options, photographing a ghost and the uninvited. I really have no idea on this one. Um, it's a 50-50 shot, so I'm gonna say photographing a ghost. And that was wrong. <laughs> it was The Uninvited. So I wonder what year that was. I'm not sure. It sounds like it would have been maybe early 1900s, maybe even late 1800s. I'll have to look that up. Question 38. How many Amityville movies are there? 8, 12, 16, or 5? Um, now I have one of them on my shelf over here, and it's Amityville 4, um, but I know there are some after that. Uh, so I'm going to say... I. Don't think that there are 12 or 16. That seems really high. I'm going to say eight. And I was wrong. <laughs> the answer is 16. Oh, I guess if they're counting like the remake, are there sequels to the remakes? I don't know. That's absurd. 16 films. What? I know a lot of them were made for TV. I definitely have to look up and see all of the list of films for those. That's so interesting. Question 39. There here is the iconic line from what horror film? The Amityville Horror original movie, Hellraiser, Poltergeist, or The Exorcist? Now, I do know this one, and I'm going with Poltergeist. And that's right. And that's little Carol Ann uh, saying in her very cute but creepy voice. Question 40, we are in the last 10 right now. What movie was believed to be a real snuff film upon its release? Snuff, Thriller, A Cruel Picture, Faces of Death, Cannibal Holocaust. Now, Cannibal Holocaust is famously like the first or one of the first found footage movies, which I guess if you're counting that as a snuff film, I know the Thriller, A Cruel Picture isn't right. And Faces of Death actually, I think it does show real people dying. So that would make it a real snuff film? Uh, and I'm not sure about the actual movie Snuff, I think. If it's snuff film called Snuff, that seems a little too obvious for it to be real, so I'm gonna go with Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, and that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look into, into Snuff. Although I don't wanna be put on any watch lists for Googling that, so maybe not. <laughs> Question 41. What is the name of the demon from The Exorcist? Pazuzu, Tannin, Abaddon? Abaddon? Azazel. This is another one that most people would probably know, and that is Pazuzu. In his weird, creepy face with the red eyes, ugh, and the yellow teeth, so gross. Question 42, what supernatural powers do the scanners have? And that's from David Cronenberg's movie Scanners. Telekinesis, immortality, pyrokinesis. They can set things on fire with their mind, but they can also do other things. It's not just setting things on fire, they can like control stuff. So I'm gonna go with telekinesis, and that's right. Question 43, what horror movie has the tagline, we dare you to say his name five times? Paranormal Activity, Urban Legends, Wishmaster, or Candyman? Now, this is kind of weird because they have a picture of Candyman under this question, so it's kind of giving it away. But we know that the answer is Candyman. 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 Be my victim. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna come get me now. 
Question 44. What horror movie is this magnificent image from? Listen to me, Marlin, The Island of Dr. Moreau, The Haunting, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. I know for sure it's not The Haunting or A Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Those are both in black and white, and this is a color picture, and I just know it's not from those. Um, I've never seen The Island of Dr. Moreau or Listen to Me, Marlin, but I'm gonna say The Island of Dr. Moreau. And that was right, okay, another wild guess that paid off. I've never even heard of Listen to Me, Marlin. I have no idea what that is. Question 45, what fictionalized movie detailed the filming of Nosferatu? There are only two options for this one, Interview with the Vampire or Shadow of the Vampire. And I know that uh, Interview with the Vampire is not the right answer, so I'm going with Shadow of the Vampire. And that is right. That's another one I have not heard of, so I'll have to look into that. All right, we're getting in the home stretch. Question 46, in what movie did Annabelle the Doll first appear? Annabelle Creation, Annabelle, The Conjuring, or The Conjuring 2? Now, I've seen the first three Conjuring movies. I have not seen any of the offshoots in the Conjuring universe, but I do know for a fact that The Conjuring was the first one in that franchise, and Annabelle was in that movie, so I'm going with The Conjuring, and that's right. Question 47, It Follows takes place in what city? Chicago, Detroit, or Baltimore? Um, now I actually don't know. I've never heard this, and I don't know if they say it in the movie. It definitely feels like small town, but it could be maybe like a suburb of Chicago or Baltimore. I, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Chicago. And I was wrong, it's Detroit. Wow, okay. Yeah, I definitely did not know that. Question 48, who slash what killed Beth in The Descent? Juno stabbed her, Sarah bludgeoned her, crawlers ate her, she fell when her line was severed. Now I'm trying to remember who Beth is. I think that it was Sarah's best friend and I'm pretty sure she is the one that Juno killed. So I'm gonna go with Juno stabbed her. And I was completely wrong. <laughs> Sarah bludgeoned her. Now this is maybe the one that she thought was a crawler by accident. Uh, yeah, I forget. Man, I love that movie, but I, I just couldn't remember that fact. <laughs> Question 48, which vampire movie is this? And there's this picture. Let me in Byzantium or let the right one in. Now I have seen let the right one in and I'm pretty sure this is not from that. Um, but I've never seen let me in or Byzantium. I don't really even know what Byzantium is. I do know that let me in is a remake of let the right one in. I'm gonna go with let me in. And I was wrong. <laughs> it's Byzantium. <laughs> okay, well, good to know, I guess. And the final question, number 50, is what is the name of the first horror film? I guess the first horror film ever. Now I'm really gonna butcher some of these uh, pronunciations. <laughs> La Menoir du Diable. Very strange, weird. Nosferatu, La Caverne Maudit, Maudite? Cringeworthy attempt at a French accent. <laughs> or Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now I know Nosferatu was the 20s, but I feel like there's probably one earlier than that. I don't think it was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so it's probably one of these French ones, and I don't know. I'm gonna go with the first one. La Menoir du Diable. Ooh, and that was right actually, okay. <laughs> Another wild guess that paid off, cool. All right, so we're gonna tally it up and see how many I got right. Drum roll, please. Ba -ba 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 Cut! Ba -ba 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 so I got 36 out of 50 right. Now there were a few questions that I found a little bit questionable, um, really just subjective and not like a real answer, but there were definitely some that I just had no idea. Some that people may find uh, were really easy, some that people may have found really hard. So again, this is by no means a measure of whether or not you're a real horror fan. I just thought it would be something fun to do and something that you could kind of participate along while watching my video. If you did play along, please comment below and let me know how many you got right. I'm very curious to know. And let me know if you like this and maybe want to see more. Maybe I could find some other horror quizzes online. This was really fun to do for sure. If you want to follow me anywhere on social media that I'm on, like Instagram or Letterboxd, I've got that link down below. So as always, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Keep being awesome, watch horror movies, and we'll talk horror next time. Time.